In 2009, the Marine Corps established an Expeditionary Energy Office. Part of its mission is to cut the Corps' fossil fuel dependency and develop more alternative forms of energy for deployed Marines. Army Staff Sergeant Daniel Simmons shows us how Marines in Helmand Province, Afghanistan, are carrying out the office's plan to go green. For the Marines of the 5th Naval Air Gun Liaison Company, going green is not just changing into their green camouflage, but also changing the way they power their equipment. The experimental solar panel is designed to power a small military operations center. It's called the Green System, which stands for the Ground Renewable Expeditionary Energy Network System. We can run an operations center off of this system as far as radios, computers, printers, lights. They even have the air conditioning plugged in. The solar panels can operate in a 24-hour period. The panels supply power to the majority of the center's equipment while charging the batteries for later use at night. And it'll generate up to 1,700 watts of uh, pure energy into the controller system. Uh, the controller system will then take that and put it into what's called a high-energy lithium battery. While the solar panels are not the main source of power for the operation center, they stay connected to the power grid here on Tombstone. But the solar panels are in use more than you think. A lot of times here we've been having power failures lately, so this comes in handy. The panels are designed to be lightweight, so they can be carried in a small shipping container or on the back of a truck. With the use of this system, the Marines are reducing their environmental footprint and... And they'll always have a means to power these systems. The Marines are not only saving energy, but in the long run, they're saving the government money. Now that's some powerful stuff. Reporting from Camp Tombstone, Helmand Province, Afghanistan, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Daniel Simmons.